Perio is a cloud solutions provider. What does that mean? We help large enterprises transition their information technology from legacy old school data centers and on-premise applications to uh, next generation solutions like Google, Salesforce, Workday, Amazon. Uh, this shift to cloud computing is a pretty significant shift in IT. Uh, we're in essence the picks and shovels uh, that large enterprises are using to make this transition. Aperia is unique probably for three different reasons, uh, three primary reasons. Uh, the first would be our focus, uh, the second our business model, third would be culture. Uh, I'll start with focus. We from the beginning, five years ago when we started it, were very, very uh, explicit about public cloud would be our focus, you know, working with best of breed public cloud providers. Uh, secondly, enterprise was a big focus of ours. Uh, and third was making sure that we established a, uh, a culture that we were all proud of and you know, excited to work at every single day. So focus for us was, uh, is the first. Our business model was also something that we put a lot of time and energy into very early on. Uh, the business model is 100% focused on disrupting traditional systems integration. It's not about just building an army of people, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people. It blends together or weaves together a combination of uh, unique technology or intellectual property, uh, a community model or crowdsourcing model that uh, is allowing us to tap into talent from around the globe, uh, which is a very innovative way of, of delivering technology and services and then bringing in uh, cloud experts, you know, that third piece. So people, uh, technology, and community. So the business model is, uh, is also very unique. And then finally, the culture itself. Um, the, 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 the culture that we've created here is um, one that, uh, you know, we drive a very high level of fun, but we are very focused on philanthropy. We've created a silver lining program. Uh, it's a highly collaborative culture. We have uh, an ideas um, application where we can rapidly submit ideas from around the company and then execute on them. Um, you know, we are very, very focused each, um, you know, every other week in sharing information across the company in our team meeting. Uh, we uh, also have um, a way of driving innovation on our projects through how we drive our discussion forums uh, and use social tools like you know Salesforce Chatter and Facebook to share that information. So. The, uh, you know, the, the culture is a highly collaborative one, uh, you know, a fun one, and we think is, uh, is unique as well. Uh, from my perspective, an innovator is someone who's willing to challenge the status quo, uh, one that brings a level of passion and energy and focus to uh, making that happen. In our world, it's all about uh, challenging traditional systems integration and bringing a new business model to, uh, to that. And five years ago when we started the company, uh, people didn't believe that uh, the cloud was even going to penetrate the enterprise or that it required professional services. Um, we felt otherwise and we persisted and now are the leader in the space. We contribute to improving the state of the world here at Aperio by really focusing on eliminating a tremendous amount of waste in the IT industry. The IT industry is a trillion and a half dollar uh, global industry. Uh, the four founders of Aperio all came from this industry, uh, 15 plus years experience each, and recognized that the waste, uh, waste in terms of failed projects, redundant hardware, underutilized software, um, resources that ended up having to be dropped off in bus loads, um, it didn't have to be that way. And that the cloud shifted the paradigm and it was an, an opportunity to bring a new model uh, to, to you know, again, eliminating you know, what we believe is you know, literally you know, half a trillion dollars worth of waste in, in the industry. And so uh, one of the major areas of opportunity that we saw and what half of this spend is on the people side of the business. Uh, and the notion of using a distributed workforce, as an example, is very, very powerful. Uh, crowdsourcing in the a community that we created, CloudSpokes, uh, we were able to, in 100 days, sign up 10,000 developers that are delivering cloud-based applications and services. 
uh, and are delivering it in, these are in days or weeks, not traditional projects that would take years or in some cases decades. So we're seeing units of work being delivered from global resources um, in, in days or weeks. Um, and the really fascinating thing is it, it is opening up a world uh, for us, for our customers, and for these developers uh, to work in this fashion, regardless of their socioeconomic status, regardless of their level of training, uh, you know, regardless of their insider connections in, uh, in an organization. And so that, that level of talent and innovation is something that, it, you know, that this industry has never seen. And we're bringing that to our enterprise customers every day.